Hello, I'm Jo and today I am doing the Currently Reading Book Tag. Okay guys, I have a book tag for you today. Now this one was actually originally created by booktuber Carly Rainhorse. I will link down to her original tag. Uh, in the description um, but I actually discovered this one on a book blog called Twirling Book Princess okay um, and in this one we have 10 questions plus who I'm tagging okay so let's just jump right into this I have the I've made notes of the questions okay which is what I'm holding here um, so number one how many books do you usually read at once um, now, I usually have at least two books on the go at the same time. Reason for this <laughs> is I usually have a Kindle book, an e-book to read, um, and then I also have a paperback, okay? Um, I, I, don't, I just do. I just do. <laughs> uh, then we've got number two. If you're reading more than one at a time, how do you decide when to switch to reading the other book? This is a very good question. Um, for me personally, it's more about where I am at the time when I'm reading. So, and like at what type of, what point of the day we're at. Uh, for example, at the moment, it's summertime, so it's very hot and sunny and things. And so reading on uh, the electronic version, you know, you get the sun glare on the screen, what makes, makes it harder to read and things like that. So I actually prefer the paper book, uh, paperback book if I'm going to do daytime reading from that. Whereas with the screen, I would read more in the evenings and things. So it's ge that's generally how I decide. It just like depends where I am and what's more comfortable at the time. Uh, number three, do you ever switch bookmarks part way through a book? No. Never. Who does that? <laughs> Am I just with? No. I will use proper bookmarks. I actually have a collection of proper bookmarks. Um, so I would generally use one of those, although I have been used to using tickets as well, so like train tickets and things like that. Whatever I have handy, I've used receipts and things as well in the past. Um, but I will generally stick with whatever I start using at the beginning of the book. Um, so no, I never switch bookmarks. Number four, where do you keep the book you're currently reading? Uh -huh. Now my electronic ones I have on my Kindle app. Okay, so I either have them on my iPad, but also now on my mobile phone because my iPad um, it's basically the memory storage on it is completely full um, and so it keeps glitching on me so I decided that I would install the app on my phone as well um, and I'm actually really glad I did because it's much easier I always have my phone with me when I go out so wherever I end up I always have books that I can read now because I have the app on my phone so I'm never without a book to read which is really good um, so yeah, um, yeah, on my phone, so always next to me, pretty much, wherever I am. Um, for the paperback version, that would either be on my bookshelf, or, um, probably more likely actually it would be on the little coffee table that I have next to my armchair, because that's where I tend to sit mostly when I'm reading paperback book, or maybe even next to my bed on my bedside table depends when I was reading it last um, then we see number five what time of day do you spend most time reading uh -huh. okay as a general this would definitely be in the evenings um, I like to read to unwind at the end of a long day um, it's for my quiet time where I chill before going to sleep basically also I find that the act of reading makes my eyes tired so um, it kind of helps me go off to sleep as well, which is quite good. 
Um, so I'd say that's that's mainly when I do it. Also, because at the moment we're on summer break, so I actually I can read a little bit more during the day when I'm not busy doing other things. Um, but I have less structured times for things. So um, yeah, usually it would be evenings though. Uh, then we have number six. How long do you typically read for in one go? Ooh, not nearly as much as I'd like to. Um, it depends largely on how tired I am because like I said, I read mainly in the evening before going, you know, when I go to bed, I will read from bed. Um, so yeah, it depends how tired I am. It could literally be anything from 10 to 15 minutes to <laughs> four hours, <laughs> depending how engrossed I am in the book and how little appreciation I have of how zombie-like I'm going to be in the morning for having stayed up to finish the book and not go to sleep. So it really depends. It's very varied. Usually it's not that long. Uh, only if I'm in like the last stretch of a book would I, you know, if it's in the second half of the book, then I'm more likely to go for a longer stretch because I just want to finish the story. Um, but usually it would just be like a half hour or an hour. That would be it. Okay, number seven. Do you read hardcovers with the dust jacket on or off? Now, I don't often read hardcovers. Um, I don't know. I find, see, hardcovers, I like them for the aesthetic on my bookshelf. Um, also, they're less likely to get damaged with time and things like that, so they tend to maintain uh, a quality look about them over the years. But I tend to find them quite uncomfortable for actually reading from. So I don't I don't have many hardcovers in my collection. I would much rather have or the electronic version or a paperback. Just because it's more comfortable. Uh, number eight. Which position do you mainly like to read in? Um, I'm usually either sat or on a sun lounger or a chair out on the balcony. <laughs> or sat on my armchair or laying down in bed that's that's where i do most of my reading so yeah definitely or sat down or lying down would be would be the one there number nine do you take the book you're currently reading with you everywhere you go ah okay this one i kind of answered a little bit in part earlier um, because like I said, I have the electronic versions on my phone now and so I always have my phone with me and so yes, I always have books um, that I'm currently reading with me. Um, as far as like the paperback versions go, the print versions, not necessarily. Um, I do sometimes, for example, my kids uh, usually had like guitar lessons on a Saturday or whatever so I would usually take the paperback version that I was reading with me uh, this is before I installed the app on my phone so to not take the iPad with me I would take the paperback with me to read whilst they were doing their lessons and things um, so I have done that in the past but generally I just forget to take it with me and then if I'm in a situation uh, where I actually have time to sit and read and it would be great to have the book with me I'm just like oh no I can't believe I didn't bring one with me um, so yeah I'm really again really grateful that I actually decided to install the app on my phone <laughs> so that's, that's definitely been a game changer for me um, number 10 how often do you update your progress on Goodreads this is a good question because this also depends on the book I think if it's a short read I will genuinely just add it to my currently reading and then just update it when I'm done and you know put my star rating and everything um, if it's a longer book particularly ones that I'm like really enjoying but they're longer and so it gets like separated then I will update my progress with it um, usually for the percentage that I am at for the book. Um, I'll also do that if it's for a review book. So if someone sent me a review copy and I'm reading that, then I tend to do the um, 
the update of my reading progress on Goodreads just um, to try and give the book more visibility basically whilst I'm in the process of reviewing it um, so yeah it depends very much depends uh, and number 11 who would you like to tag now I don't actually have anyone in mind for tagging for this so hmm I'm gonna have to have a think about this um, I may tag some people later on <laughs> okay um but right now i'm just gonna leave this open i mean this tag's been it i think it was re originally created um in i believe may 2015 so it has been around for a while now um so lots of people have already done this um and things so i will have to do some research before i tag people so i'm just gonna i'm gonna leave it as a, if you want to do this tag then you can consider yourself tagged by me and uh, do it because it's fun. It's it's a nice, quick, easy one to do as well. So I, I love tags like this. I think it's great um, for having a general discussion about our reading routines and things like that. I think it offers good insight as well into readers and um, things that, you know, not just the actual book, talking about books but the everything else behind it, you know, the behind the scenes stuff. I think that's interesting too. Um, so anyway, yes, if you want to do this tag, then you are tagged. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.